Hey everyone, welcome back to another video about how to grow sustainably in your very own home. Today we are gonna be talking about how you can make use of food scraps and actually turn them into living, growing plants again. As a student, this has been a really useful method for not just cutting down on my food waste, which is promoting sustainability and helping fight climate change, but also saving money because I don't have to be going out and buying all these produce items again because I can just regrow them myself. And it wasn't until I started growing these items from scraps that I really realized how much I was buying and how much money I was actually saving. So today I'm just gonna be showing you a few of the plants that I have been growing from food scraps and showing you just how easy it is to do so that you can start doing it in your own house today. Let's get started. The first thing I want to show you are my green onions. So you know green onions. I tried finding one in my fridge, but I don't have one. They have a white stem at the bottom with the roots hanging out, and then they have a long green top. And you eat the green part, and you usually throw out the white part with the roots. But what you can do is you can put them in water. Put the roots in water, have the white stem facing upwards, leave it for a few days, change the water every few days, and you will grow full green onions again. So I will insert a photo of what my green onions look like after about two days, two to three days of putting them in water, changing the water, and now I'm gonna show you what they look like after about two weeks. So these are my green onions after about two weeks of growing them. I just tied them together with a elastic band and now I have full green onions and I'm going to be using these tonight in a dish that I'm making for dinner. So super easy. Usually you'd throw out the scraps, but instead hold on to them, just put them in water. You don't even need soil and then you'll have a whole new set of onions and you can just keep redoing it. Another really fun one are carrot tops. So when you're using carrots, instead of throwing out the tops, cut off a bit, so leave about an inch or so of your carrot, and then also stick that in the, an inch or two of water, just so it's covering about halfway up the carrot top, and then you will see carrot greens start to grow. Now this method doesn't grow full carrots back, but it does create greens that you can put in salads, in dishes, as garnishes, whatever you choose. What I'll show you is bok choy. So when you're using bok choy and you're peeling all the leaves off, you usually have a little bit as you can see here at the bottom, which has the roots and it might have a flower or two, instead of throwing that out like we usually do, just also stick that in water like we did with the other root plants and allow that to grow for a couple of days. And I've had this growing for about a week, but in the past couple of days, I've also put in these other bottoms. And as you can see, they have grown quite large. And so I will have more leafy greens to use once those are ready to go. Another fun thing you can do, which you may recognize from my last video, is propagate herbs. So you can do this in soil or in water. I've personally chose to do it in water. So you just stick herbs in a tiny little bit of water for a few days and you'll start to notice some roots appear and you can just take off little bits of the herbs and use them and they will continue to grow back. So right here I have rosemary and then I have some oregano sitting over in the corner as well. But you can basically do this with any type of herb. You can do it even with parsley or basil. You could also plant them in soil, like I mentioned. Whatever you have, whatever resources are available to you, doesn't matter, you can do it, and it really doesn't take time. All you have to do is put it in some water, leave it, remember to change it a few days, every few days, maybe set an alarm for yourself, and that's about it. So for fertilizer, I've actually just been holding on to my coffee grinds from the coffee that I brew every morning, putting them in a little airtight container and then sticking them in the fridge. I've seen people who have taken their coffee grinds before and plan on holding on to them after using them and leave them out on the counter. And then they realize it goes moldy and gross. So make sure you are putting them in the fridge and you're not holding on to them for a few weeks at a time because they might start going bad after that. So try to use them after a week or two, sooner the better, but just make sure if you are gonna use coffee grinds that you are storing them in the fridge. Another thing that people probably wanna know is that if you are using eggshells in your garden, it doesn't smell. That's a common misconception. However, before you use your eggshells, it would be a good idea to wash them just to remove any risk of salmonella from going into your garden, into your plants that you eat. So make sure to wash and make sure to refrigerate. 
So that is all for my quick video on how to repurpose food scraps to grow your own food, to make use of things you've already paid for, which will help you reduce your food waste, help you fight climate change, and help you save money. As a student, like I said, this has been really helpful for me for taking action against climate change as well as saving money. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it has inspired you to start repurposing food scraps and experimenting with things in your fridge. You never know, you might just become a pro gardener after this. Thank you for watching and have fun gardening.